move on to the second task for this demonstration. Remember we wanted to use the aggregated value or pivot table style function of the Event Reports app to pull out information on the same malaria case management program. To clear the table, select Favorites, then New. And make sure you choose the pivot table as the table style, which will produce aggregated values for analysis. For this example, we will also select the program and stage Malaria Case Management. We will then select the following data elements. Age, condition of patient, and malaria species type. Make sure the period type chosen is fixed and relative periods. The fixed period selected should be 2019. Also make sure the last 12 months is not selected. Next, select the animal region as the organization unit of analysis. And then we can click update. So what is this table telling us? It's giving us the cases of malaria with all three of these dimensions. For example, there are 11 1 to 4 year olds who have simple malaria and who are infected with the PF species of malaria. As you can see in the table, there are a few repetitive options that are by default included in the table. To edit these, select Options at the top of the report and remove row totals and row subtotals. Then click the box next to Hide NA Data. Then click Update. This gives us a cleaner table without repetitive or not available cells. At this point, we will pause again so you can complete the activities associated with this video. It's a great opportunity to repeat the tasks in the demonstration to ensure a greater comprehension of the information presented. Make sure you do not clear your table as we will be continuing with this example in the next activity.